Hi guys, I've got a puzzle brain review video for you today and the puzzle in question is a 500 piece puzzle by Springbok and the title of this one is The Very Best. So I bought this puzzle in Spain because I cannot get Springbok in Slovenia and Donna Louise suggested to try it out because it's a good brand but she did mention that she only tried like the older versions of Springbok puzzles so she wasn't completely sure how the quality is today. So I'm gonna test that out for you, don't you worry. But they didn't really have that many different pictures, so I picked this one that it just looked the prettiest to me. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, what have I done? Like, I don't know, it just seems like it could be really difficult because it's basically just got three colors all over the puzzle. But that's honestly the best way to try a new brand out because you can easily see if you have a difficult picture and the puzzle is still easy to assemble, then you can definitely say that the puzzle brand is really good. Because so much of the assembly depends on the pieces itself. So if the cut is good and there are no misfits, I think I should be good to go. Let's do a quick quality check now. The pieces are a bit bigger than what I'm used to, but the quality is really good. They're quite sturdy, so not easily breakable, and the print is very clear. One thing that I would point out is that it has a little bit of gloss finish, which is not my favorite, but the pieces are basically all different shapes, so I think that's gonna definitely help in putting the puzzle together. I'm actually not used for the puzzle pieces to be so big, so I'm not sure if it's like a US thing, because I haven't done enough of their puzzles to just, you know, say that but it happened with Puzzle Twist and now it's happening with Springbok as well. I'm not sure if I like the fact that they're a bit bigger, but I can definitely see how the details would be easier to spot when you have like a bigger print puzzle. So in a way I kind of like that the pieces are bigger because you get more detail, but on the other hand I quite like my 500 piece puzzles to be smaller. I haven't decided yet how I want to do this puzzle because it feels like I'm scared to speed run it, but I do speed run every 500 piece puzzle and this one is a 500 piece puzzle. I know I'm not going to be competing with Springbok puzzle, but I think like, I don't know, speed running it through might give me a better idea of the quality of the brand as well. But I'm worried that it's going to take me way longer than two hours and then I'm just going to get super tired when doing it. So yeah, Err. I kind of have to think about it, but I think I'm... I think I'm gonna try to speed run it, but then if it doesn't go well, I'm probably just gonna stop, take a break and then come back to it. So wish me luck. I had to pause the puzzling for a bit so I can show you the new discoveries I've made about the brand. So as you can see there is a little bit of puzzle dust but it's not too much so it's not too annoying. Another thing that I would like to point out is there are quite a few pieces that are like still stuck together. Some of the pieces that are still stuck together, they're not just stuck together, they're not even cut properly. So when I tried to pull them apart it was a lot more difficult than I expected it to be. And the other thing that I noticed with the edge pieces is they're not cut properly so like the cardboard is still sticking out when it should be smooth. So far I wouldn't jump to a conclusion that it's not a good brand because for me the most important things are basically the fit and if there are any misfits. Because pieces being stuck together and a bit of like edge left over of the cardboard is not really what's going to make the puzzle difficult, is how badly the puzzle is cut that is going to make the puzzle difficult. So I'm still completely undecided about this puzzle because I just want to see how it's going to be when I put it all together. I am really happy that I extended the table though because the pieces are so much bigger they would be just impossible to do it in this section only. And now I think it's finally time to move on and do the puzzling. This is a lot more complicated than I initially thought it's gonna be because it's been 26 minutes now and I'm just barely got the frame done. So I'm not sure if I did really bad sorting and I just missed a few pieces. If it's one of those things when they're like random pieces that might be a frame or might not be a frame. Oh my god, <laughs> this is gonna be so much more difficult than I expected it to be. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I should do the sorting, I don't know, but I think I'm gonna go for like the obvious colors and just take them out and start assembling it. 
and I can just hope that it's not gonna be as difficult as the frame was because whew, it's gonna take me a long time to finish this I think. I definitely underestimated this puzzle because it's been an hour 15 and this is all I've got so far. So I decided to start with like the green bits because I thought it's just the least of them. So it would be the easiest and I think it's gonna get easier obviously the more puzzle I put together because it's easier to see the shapes. But because there's so many different and random shapes, it's like sometimes you think you're looking for one piece to fit the gap but then it's actually like two or even three pieces. So that's really confusing. I'm not used to that. So, so far I would definitely say that it's quite a difficult puzzle. I do not have any problems with misfits though. So that's a good thing. So the cut is really good from that sense. I'm just not used to it. And yeah, I think I'm gonna have to move on to blueberries because it feels like there's less of them than the strawberries. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna sort into two piles and just start with the smaller one. Okay, so my battery died and I accidentally forgot to put the timer back on, but I think I'm like about 10 to 15 minutes off, but it doesn't really matter because, well, it's been two hours, so. But anyway, what I wanted to say is that I only have strawberries left and I think this is gonna be probably the easiest part of the puzzle because I've got a lot of different sections and I can see the shape of the pieces. And yeah, it's been a very difficult puzzle. I do have to say though, no problem with misfits. The puzzle holds together really well. I haven't tried to lift it, but I think I sh Okay, maybe I'm not gonna do that. But it holds together really well, like... It's, it holds together really well, so... I'm really happy about that. Overall, I would say that the quality is really good from what I've seen so far. But the puzzle is not finished yet. The picture is so difficult, like... I honestly didn't expect that. When I was buying this puzzle, I was just thinking about how pretty it looks. I wasn't thinking about the fact that I'm gonna have to put it together. I would definitely say that more difficult pictures are definitely better to be assembled in multiple sittings. But I think that the shapes of the pieces are gonna really help now because I've got a lot of specific sections that I'm gonna be able to assemble. So I'm just hoping that like this last bit is gonna be the quickest. <laughs> out of the mall. Okay, so the puzzle is finally finished, but it has a missing piece. I honestly do not know what happened. I clocked quite early on that it's not there because it's a very specific shape, but I was hoping until the end that maybe it's made out of two shapes. 
but it wasn't so I don't know what happened to it I'm gonna try to look for it after I'm done filming but that's a shame anyway the puzzle is complete and I can say that I actually really like it it's very good fit like it holds together really well but overall I want to say that I really like the brand people have been saying that it's a good brand and I have to agree with them it's got a really good fit it doesn't have any misfits the only thing that I would point out what I've mentioned earlier is that the cuts on the edges is a bit weird like not properly done I do however have to mention that this is one of the hardest puzzle that I've done like I don't know what I was thinking when I picked that puzzle but it doesn't matter because when it's finished it looks very pretty it's such a shame that there is a piece missing I don't know if Springbok does like missing pieces replacement but I'm gonna contact them and see if you know there is a way to get this one and have it complete and that's gonna be it for today and I'll see you next time bye